Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. A lot of time I was asking questions regard to fitted edges and it's broken. The model is no longer watertight. So today I would like to show you how to fix the issue creating by fitted edges. Are you ready? Let's get started. Today's video is going to answer the question for the fitted edges and this is a really common uh, issue happen when you have the edge is perfectly aligned for something like that. The diameter of this um, upper part for the cylinder is actually the same width with the bottom part. So when you do the fitted, you will have a hole like this. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to use the fitted edge command and we are going to fit it for on the presets for one, so I'm just going to fit it. Everything's there, so let's go ahead to pick up everybody. Most of the time, you won't have a problem on this edges right there, but when it is committed, um, connected into the point, and you have the problem like that. If you take a look on the render view, of course, you're going to see a hole there, and it's not pretty, and it happened on all four um, sides. If you um, going to print this it's not going to work so we need to fix this one right here and I would like to show you how to fix them well first of all I'm going to extract the surface of this one and this one and also this one and this one so we're gonna fix on um, one side first and we just copy to the other side notice that um, those two are actually overlapping if I change this into other color you can see this one because the radius is um, it's bigger than the age that it has so it has this problem over here so the way that we are going to fix is we need to trim away all the way that is overlapping into this area right there so I'm going to use a command for just drawing the line, but it's the line from the midpoint. And right here, I'm going to snapping into where it's it intersect there, because that is where the point need to be trimmed. And you can make sure that on the bottom right here on the intersect, it is click and you want to snapping into the intersect and then that's coming into the front view and making a straight line and that is longer than the area and we want to do both sides at the same time so that's mirror to the other side and we want to use those two curve and trim all the area right in the middle so let's go ahead to trim those guy here and also trim those guy here because I'm in the front view, so I may trim both back and forth and that's fine because we need to cut them off anyway. So now you have a good connection right there with this point. There's no overlapping right there and coming down there. If you are afraid of this may not be 100% correct because that point we can take a look. Sometimes if you wanted to zoom and you zoom too much and all of a sudden you are running into the interior or it's off the camera, what you can do is coming into the uh, set camera and you want to uh, place the target and you want to snapping into this endpoint. And let's take a look one more time. We just need to make sure it's not it's right at point and take a look on this one It's actually a very good example here. I thought I was having an intersect, but it's more point that is intersecting in the problem area. So we actually need to trim it wider. And I'm glad that I find out at this moment. Uh, let's go ahead to moving this past this point. And let's give it a try. I'm going to use that to trim off those. And double make sure that we actually trim off the problem area. So now it's a nice edge there. And if that look good to you, let's go ahead to pick up this curve. And we want to mirror to the other side. And again, using this curve, we wanted to trim this one here. All right, so now we have a clean cut and then we need to duplicate all the edges. So let's go ahead to use the duplicate edges. And we want to duplicate this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and let's go ahead to join them. And let's duplicate it one more time. Again, duplicate edges. And we're going to pick up this one, this one, this one. And also the same on the other side. And hit enter. Make sure you join them. 
Now let me turn in this curve into the red color and turning this curve and this curve into the green color here. All right, so I can use the red one. Just want to make sure that they are correct. Uh, we wanted to trim all the extra for the green one here, green one here. So we want to just keep it within that distance or the boundary right there. Okay, so now if you just go ahead, you want to do a sweep to, you're going to have a bump here. Uh, let me show you what I mean. If you go into do the sweep one, sweep two, and this is your cross section right here, and there's another cross section right there, you will fill it up this surface and look nicely. But if you take a look closely, let's click OK, you're going to have a bump right there and in the render, and that doesn't look good, right? Because we have a bump there. So we need to actually give you more control on that specific point. So let me go ahead to draw a straight line. Since those two are completely aligned, so I'm going to draw a straight line here and also turning into the red color. So now we have more control. Let's take a look. If we, again, using a sweep two, you got rail one, you got rail two here, and you got cross section one, cross section two, cross section three. It seems like it should control it really nicely. But if you take a look on the side, it's not too bad, right? It's not too bad. In the middle, it goes straight and you have a bomb coming into like that. Let's take a look on the render view and it's not too bad right there. All right, so for the comparison, I'm going to uh, show you another way. I'm just gonna totally making a copy, put it right there. Uh, and in this one, I'm going to delete what we did. And another way that we can use is under the surface, you have curve network. Okay, it's going to network from this curve, the second curve, the third curve, and also the green one for the boundary and also the green one. And you hit enter and then you click OK. All right, so now we got those two right here. Let's put it side by side for the comparison. So let me join this one and we are going to move it next to it. And let's take a look on our render view and see if you like both of them. And I'm going to pick up the curve and also hide it. All right, so both of them is actually look pretty similar. We have the curve uh, coming in and it's nice and blended there. And we have a curve coming in also. Uh, you can also check on the analyze that you have a surface. And then you can use a zebra and apply to all of them here. Now you can make your zebra uh, thinness so then you have more line there to, to uh, match or use the median and to see how the line is well to connect it, right? So in this case, I actually like the curve network better because I have a less a breaking point over there compared to this one over there. But both of the way is actually pretty similar for the surface in this case. And then I would like to show you both way to fix the problem like this. I hope you enjoy the video. Let me know what you think. And if you like the way I model, I have a lot more video in the membership program. It's going to show you more of the trick and tip on the 3D model. Hope you like it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next.